Hey data fans, Reid here. Today we're going to discuss how to enforce proper filter utilization in the filters pane. One issue I see some clients have is that when you select a visual, it's possible to see both the filters that can be applied at either the visual, page, or report level. Now depending on how that report layer was configured. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly hide filters you don't want the report consumers to use which then means that you can direct them to use the filters at either the proper page or report level filter scope. So let's go ahead, hop into Power BI and get started. So I'm going to start by talking about the issue, which is the fact that if you observe over in the filters pane, you can see that there are a set of filters for this page and filters for all pages, which is a typical setup you would have for a report consumer and potentially even a slicer on the page as well. If you really want to place a commonly used slicer on the page, just to have it accessible a little bit easier than anything in the filters pane too. But now the issue comes into play where let's say I was to select a visual as a report consumer. Now you'll see that filters on this visual pop up. However, they are locked on this, but they're still visible. So now as the user, depending on if there is some shared attributes between here and filters on this page, they may not know which one to use. So let me go over to the solution page and then show you what the expected output I would like to see is for the report environment. So instead, what I'd like to see is a similar layout and design. However, now when I click this visual, notice that there are no filters for this visual popping up. And if I select any other visual on this page, you don't see any of that showing up. So I have enforced the user to make sure that they are using filters on this page and have no ability to filter per visual when they select it because I've hidden all of those. So now we're going to go ahead and hop over into Power BI Desktop and see how this can be applied. And this process is very simple actually. Just whenever you add visuals to the page that can have filters applied to them, just come up to that visual, make sure you've selected it, and then in the filters on this visual section of the filters pane, notice that each one of these has an option to have a show filter or not. These two are hidden, but then additionally, I can hide these last two as well. So that's what I've actually done on the solution page. If I come over to the solution tab down here at the bottom, go to that tab, Every one of the visuals that's in here has all of these filters hidden for that visual. That way that when they click it, they won't see this pop up in the report environment when they're in reader mode, consuming the report as an end user. Now, again, this is only really relevant if you actually have the filters pane showing. If you decide instead that you're going to have the filters pane hidden, then this doesn't really need to apply because you're just using slices on the page. But my typical report development experience that I do with clients that I implement is that I usually use a mixture of slices on the page and some amount of filters in the filters pane. So when I'm done creating my report, I go through, I make sure that I've checked every visual and I've hidden all of the filters on the visual level that I don't want my end users to be filtering by. So it reduces the confusion and kind of directs them to a single path of filtering that is enforced by the report development as uh, my choice as the developer when I publish this online. Thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. If this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, smash that subscribe and notification button. And last but not least, you can download the file for today's video from my blog files page using the link down below.